So we've had a lot of companies that grew here, that started here from, you know, pretty much nothing. But we've always been a very welcoming community to entrepreneurs. It's such a nice place to live that you can attract people from elsewhere and you can get them to move to Shenandoah because they can see it's a terrific little town. We have a group of business leaders right now that are, are incredibly focused on ensuring that we're able to grow this community. Pella Corporation is very intentional about where they set up business and to be a great place to work at first has to be a great place to live. I think the community members here are very hard working. It's just a, a good place to live. We are the community of choice in Southwest Iowa. And they said, well, if you're uh, going to be locating in Iowa, you really should check out Shenandoah. We took a drive up here, and as soon as we drove down Main Street, I thought, boy, compared to all the other towns we had visited in Iowa, this is, this is the place to be. We've got a very uh, vastly expanding Pella plant right now. The, the corporation's done an excellent job of continuing to thrive. 1991, when Pella was looking to open a manufacturing plant, what won Shenandoah over was feeling a community and the excitement that they generated and, and you know the red carpet that they rolled out, the image that Pella Corporation was able to project about having a world-class facility in this town. One of our strong partnerships in the community is Pella. Uh, we have technical trades faculty that spend as much time in the plant as anyone. We also work closely with Shenandoah Medical Center because we have students that are taking our health occupation classes. We're one of the very few organizations that's still delivering babies in, in rural Iowa. We also have an extremely advanced and strong oncology program here. The medical community here in town really does a nice job of seeking out uh, talented physicians and therapists. I've got a, a 10 and 11 year old boys, extremely active kids, and, and they've just gotten an excellent education. I really think that Shenandoah has a lot to offer. We have some of the finest educators in the state of Iowa. Our programs in agriculture and auto technology, industrial technology. We have over 200 acres of parks that the city maintains, amenities such as a downtown hotel, a three screen theater, we get first run movies, workout center, a great library. And we have 26 churches in Shenandoah. You know, there are options for grocery shopping here. You know, there's a fairway, there's a high V. When Eaton Corporation decided to, to reduce its workforce and pull out of Shenandoah, you know, it's it pretty devastating to our community. They had over 600 employees. When you lose students, you lose state aid, and when you lose state aid, that affects what you're able to do with your school system. They phased some of the production out of here and left this big, beautiful building. It's within everybody's best interest to figure out a solution for that property. Having the Eaton's facility selling to a, a vibrant company is very important to this community. We need the jobs. You might be one of you know, thousands of large employers in a metropolitan area. But if you come to Shenandoah, you're gonna be a big deal. It will have a strong impact on the economy. And then as a side benefit, um, when the economy is strong, schools will be strong and we will have enrollment and it's a big circle. They would come into an area where there is a workforce that is available. The impact of the agricultural community on, on Pella Corporation and Shenandoah operations is work ethic. We have to come together, we have to work together. When you have a unified community that are really rowing the same direction and trying to accomplish the same things, you can be successful. And that's where we're at today.